So the time has come to take money out of your Roth IRA. Be sure to follow these rules or you might find yourself in trouble with the IRS. In this video, we'll be digging into exactly that. Stage five is all about the income. It's an important stage because there are penalties if you do it wrong. So be sure to pay attention here. Now, your Roth IRA is a bucket of money that has grown tax deferred. Now that money will come out tax free as long as you follow the rules. So there will be no taxes that you have to pay on that Roth IRA. But you have to wait at least five years in order to take that money from your Roth IRA and you have to be 59 and a half years old. Meaning that you can put money into your Roth IRA and then that money that goes in, whether it came through a transfer or through a conversion or the back door or it came through a distribution, I mean you put money in, a contribution, you have to wait five years, and there's some rules about that. We'll talk about that in a minute, how to count that five years. But you do have to wait five years, and you have to be 59 and a half to take the gains out. Now, you can put money into your Roth IRA and take the money that you put in out at any time. There's no rules around that. So if you contribute $30,000 to your Roth IRA over the first three years, and then in year three and a half or four, you want to take 10 of that back out again, there's no restrictions on the money that you put into the Roth, just the gains that your money has accumulated. So just keep that in mind. Five years, 59 and a half. Distributions are tax free, so long as you follow the rules. And if you don't follow the rules, then there will be a 10% penalty, plus you'll have to pay taxes for taking that money out early. So what I want to do is just briefly go over the five year rule because that's really the main component to a Roth IRA. So let's take a look at the first five year rules that deals with withdrawals off of contributions, meaning that you put money into your Roth IRA more than five years ago and you did that through contributions, through annual contributions. It wasn't part of a rollover. And so that's the first one. We're looking at withdrawals that came from contributions into your Roth IRA. Now, you have to be first off on or over the age of 59 and a half, like we mentioned earlier. That's the first restriction that you have to have. Secondly, at least five tax years have passed since you made that first contribution to your Roth IRA. Now, keep in mind, that's your first contribution to a Roth IRA not the one that was made like five years ago exactly. So if you opened up a Roth in your 20s and you made your first contribution to it and then you never contributed again until you were 35 and then you made a big contribution into your Roth IRA when you were 35, your five year period has already passed. So as long as that money goes into the Roth, it can come back out tax free plus gains as long as the second rule is met that you're 59 and a half. So hope you got that straight. As long as you're 59 and a half and the money's been there five years, you're good to go. So here's how you count the five years. And by the way, you can withdraw your contributions made to your Roth IRA tax-free at any time and penalty-free. That meaning your contributions that you made, not the gains. And so you don't have to wait five years for your contributions just to take the gains out of your Roth IRA without penalty. So if the year was 2021 and that's the current year, and let's say you made contributions to your Roth IRA this year. How does that five year timer work? That's what we're gonna take a look at right now. So this year, as of 2021, your tax deadline date is gonna be April 18th of 2022. And so as long as you make your contribution to your Roth IRA, by that date, April, 20, uh, April 18th, if that's the date, of 2022, 2022 right there, as long as you make your $6,000 or $7,000 contribution 
to your Roth IRA by April 18th of 2022, that contribution will count as if it went in on January 1st, 2021. And your five-year timer, your first five-year timer, if that was your first contribution, will start counting as of January 2021. So that to January 2022 will be year one, this will be year two, this will be year three, this will be year four, that will be year five. And even if you make your contribution on April 18th of 2022, you could take that money out as early as January 26, January 1st of 2026, assuming you were 59 and a half by that age. And so that would really only be like three and a half years away because of the way that the IRA is credited, the Roth IRA is credited with your money from that contribution. So that is dealing with withdrawals from your Roth IRA when you made annual contributions and the tax year for the annual contribution starts on the January 1st of the year of your tax year. So if taxes are due January 15th or, or April 15th or April 18th, whatever that date is, then go all the way back to January 1st of the previous year and that's when your contribution five-year rule will start from. Got it. Hope hope you guys got that. If you don't, schedule an appointment again with Bright Advisor. I know I repeat that, but it's why we have that team available to meet with you to answer all these questions to help you understand your scenario. The second five-year rule that we're looking at is if you did a conversion, if you put money into your Roth IRA via the back door, how does that five-year rule count? And so again, you have to be over the age of 59 and a half and your money has to have been in there for five years. It's the same thing. You take money out of your IRA. Uh, at the time you made your contribution, you went through the marginal tax system, and then what was left over was contributed to your Roth IRA. So you paid your taxes way back when you made that transfer. And so that transfer, those taxes that you made on that transfer, the question is, are, you know, when is this money now available to you? And so, Let's say you made your rollover, you did this backdoor contribution into your IRA as of December 31st, that's your cutoff date. So by December 31st of January, 20, of De December 31st, 2021, your contribution, your backdoor contribution will count as of January 1st, 2021. So if you make it by December 31st of that year, then your five-year rule will start as of January 1st. Unlike a normal contribution to your IRA, if you make a backdoor contribution after the first, sometime between the first and let's say tax day, that is gonna count for the next year. So you don't get to go all the way back to January 1st of the previous year if it's a rollover. If you're doing a rollover or a conversion into the backdoor, then that contribution has to be made by December 31st of the current year, and that will be credited in your five-year timer will start of January 1st of that year. So, hope that makes sense. Those are the major distinctions to understand when it comes to the five-year rule. And again, direct message us, put questions in the comments, or schedule an appointment with our Bright Advisor team if that doesn't make sense or you still have questions about that or you wanna talk about your own individual scenario. Well, as you can see, taking income from your Roth IRA, that's the fun part. Hopefully you found some value in today's video. If you did, please subscribe to the Bright Wealth YouTube channel. Leave any questions you have in the comments below. We'll get to those as soon as we can. And as always, if you have personal questions about your Roth IRA, Click the link in the bio or the description of this video and schedule an appointment with the Bright Advisor team. They're standing by to help you with anything that you have about your retirement accounts or investment accounts. You're watching the Bright Wealth YouTube channel. My name's Scott McLean. It's not what you make, it's what you do with what you make.